Welcome everybody to YouTuber Tournament 7 Episode 10. And the topic of this episode is the third elimination as somebody is going home today. It's just, it just feels so short between each elimination. It's unreal. And now there are... We're going down the 17 today. Are you excited? Well, everybody who's not on the Mountaineers is excited. I'm pretty sure. But anybody else is pretty much excited for this. Except me, because I have to get the I have to give the dreadful news every three days. And I'm gonna be saying this to like 19 different people in this tournament at, at some point. But right now we're still early in the tournament. This is only the third elimination, so it's not gonna be too bad until we get to like the end where some of the best or some of the community's favorites start going away. But in all reality is, somebody's got to win the tournament. Which means, ultimately, people that you like might go home. Alright. Today's objective. We're going to count the votes for Team Mountaineers for elimination, which you guys voted for last night. So, thank you for that. Um... And, now, and then after that, we will eliminate the player with the most votes out of YouTuber Tournament 7. So that's definitely going to be a, um, a thing that's going to happen. So let's move on. So, Team Mountaineers, you have lost another a second challenge this season. Which means you are eliminating another player. Which also means you're triggering a team swamp later. Which is going to happen next episode. Which we will cover later in the video after the elimination. So, yeah. Alright, here we go. The nominees that you had to choose for elimination were... It's just Miss Blondie. Chosen One. And Corey Dutson. Alright, for the vote count this episode, five votes have been casted this episode, which is one less than last time. We are not headed in the right direction. We should be getting more, not less. So next time, we need to have it... Well, we're going to try to get it back to six. That is the goal for the next episode. Get it back to six votes. That way we can continue to grow the YouTuber tournament series, not shrink it down. All right, let's move on. We're going to announce the first safe player for tonight, and that YouTuber is Corey Dutson with not a single vote. Corey Dutson, congratulations. You are going to be in the finals 17. You're going to survive. And that will leave two. It's either It's Just Miss Blondie or Chosen One. That will be going home. All right. The eliminated player. Oh, this one is going to be... Quite an elimination. Because here's a fact about this one. This is the first ever, what I like to call, a sweep of the entire season. Meaning, not a sing the other person who is going to survive this elimination does not have a single vote either. Meaning, there's only one person that got votes for elimination. And since we ha if, since I said earlier there was five, that person got five votes. Which is tied for the most ever. 
with, I believe, the other two people that have been eliminated as well. Unlo so, with that being said, the YouTuber, the next YouTuber who is going to be eliminated out of YouTuber Tournament 7 being the third person to exit the tournament and receiving 18th place in the tournament is Chosen One. Get this shit out of the way, bro. This is in a way. Fucking shit out of the way, son. I am sorry to say this, Chosen One, but you are not the Chosen One to win this tournament. You are a good streamer, however. I did see some of those streams. They were pretty decent. There were some fun pretty funny moments in there. And my suggestion is to keep up the good work. And hopefully your channel will grow. And someday you might even return to YouTuber to the next YouTuber tournament that you're eligible to participate in. And hopefully this next upcoming time you might win that tournament. And that's if you figure out how to please the viewers as you are the first person to get swept in the entire tournament. It's not the first time ever that this has happened. This has happened in pr practically every tournament that had voting. So, thank you for playing, Chosen One. And just like that, we are now down to 17 players. And we are now just one cycle away from Wave 2 of the season. So again, Chosen One had five votes. Um, that's a typo. That should say it's just Miss Blondie. But it's just Miss Blondie had zero votes. Um, yeah, sorry about the typo. I forgot to change that. Um, so yeah. All right, on to tomorrow's objective in episode 11. This is coming up in episode 11 of the YouTuber tournament season of YouTuber tournament 7. We have th three things going on this next episode. The first thing is a random member from either Team Wranglers, Team Outlaws, or Team Coyotes will be switching to Team Mountaineers to balance out the, the teams because the Mountaineers have eliminated two people in one wave. So someone's going to have to switch. That that brings up 12 different people. You know who you are um, if you are on a one of those teams. In fact, I have them on screen now. Um, as you see all of them, just know that those are all of the YouTubers that have a chance to randomly be picked to switch teams. Now, I did not clarify this last episode, but it's not one member per from each team switching to the Mountaineers. It's one member from any of those three teams that will be switching. Yeah, we're not going to severely unbalance the teams by adding three members to the Mountaineers. I'm not going to I'm not going to do that. They'll bring the total team member count to five. So we can't do that. <laughs> And that would literally screw everything up. So, 
again, one person will be randomly selected out of the 12 that are on up for picking to switch teams. So it's a 1 in 12 chance you are switching teams if you are on any of those three teams. Now, if you are not on any of those three teams and you're on either Team Stampede or Team Mountaineers, you will remain on your current team until the end of the wave when we randomize the teams again as you will have new teammates and all kind of stuff but we should save that for um we should save that talk for episode 13 all right the next thing we're going to do we will start the fourth challenge which will be a rocket league face off versus the CPU so basically similar to the last challenge when you guys fought in Brawlhalla you will be doing the same thing in Rocket League, except the goal is to have the best point differential against the CPU team. Now, because Rocket League has customizable colors, I can actually help distinguish the teams. Meaning I will be putting your team colors on your cars whenever you do face the CPU. So yeah, that's going to so that's going to help. And and again, the Wranglers are going to go first um and then the Stampede are going to go next and then after that the Mountaineers, then the Outlaws and then finally the Coyotes. It's basically the order that we go in by every single challenge in wave 1. So yeah, And, again, the team with the worst point differential will lose this challenge. If there is a tie, we will, ha- we will do another round until the tie is broken. We will only count ties that are in battles for last place. If there's, like, a tie for any other position, I won't give a crap, and we'll just declare them safe. So, if, for example, if there's a tie for first place... The goal, the goal isn't to be the number one team in the world. The goal is to not lose the challenge so you guys don't get put up for elimination. And I want to keep this as short as possible. So, yeah, we're not doing that either. So we're just going to break ties that are actually mean something towards elimination rather than doesn't mean anything at all. So yeah, that's that. If you and I will see you guys in episode 11 and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.